kitchen again. Welcome to Cooking Around's Kitchen. Welcome to Crackle Poland. What am I doing today? I got some requests that they want me to make some food, but faster, super fast. So we are going to make a beef stir fry. We're going to do it really, really fast. And I'm going to use about a pound of a sirloin steak here. Now you can use basically any type of steak if you want. And to make it really super fast, I'm going to use frozen vegetables. Now you can use fresh if you want, but like I said, this has to be super, super fast. We're talking about five minutes, seven minutes at the most, it is done. So let's get going. Okay, we're back. Grab yourself a measuring cup and put about half a cup of water. And I want you to add about one teaspoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of steak spice, any type that you want, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, about one tablespoon of soy sauce, there you go, and that's about it. So we mix that up and put that to the side, it is done. Now you grab yourself your steak, your handy dandy knife, and I want you to start cutting it basically, cut basically about half an inch strips like that. So I'm gonna just cut this one down the middle and cut like this. So we're having basically long strips here, half an inch thick. Just like that. So that's what we are looking at. So I shall be back. And we are back. Get yourself a wok. If you don't have a wok, you can use a fry pan. Put about one to two tablespoons of any type of cooking oil. Wait for that to get hot. And get about two cloves of garlic. And I have them sliced a little bit thick like this so they won't burn so fast. And you throw that in. And we'll just move that around a little bit. And now we grab our meat and we'll put that in. And, and make sure that the heat is really, really high. And we're going to move that all around until it becomes brown. Okay, now that's looking absolutely awesome. And now we remove that into another bowl. Grab any type of your favorite frozen vegetables and put about half the side. Just like that. Make sure the heat is up high. Take a little bit of sesame seed oil. Give it a little dash in there like that. About half a teaspoon of salt. Now let's let this go for about three minutes on high. Now you can use fresh vegetables you want to do in this recipe, but remember I want this super fast, so I don't want anybody doing too much cutting except for the meat. And because the vegetables are frozen, it's important that everything is up on high. So that's going to go for another minute. Okay, we're back here. You can add more pepper if you want, but we already got pepper from the steak spice, so that's up to you. And you can add some hot sauce if you want. So, let's see. Okay, that's turning out really, really good. Temperatures are fully high. Vegetables are done. Take your meat and put that back inside. Move that around. Now we're just going to give that a minute for the meat to heat up. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to grab the sauce that you made and we are just going to put about half. And we're just going to put a little bit at a time and watch how it thickens. Just like that. See how it's thickening in there? Look at that sauce. And a little bit more. There we go. You don't have to use all of it. Now 
that back over a couple of seconds. And now we put in about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of dried parsley, just like that. Move that all around. Just wait for that sauce to thicken up a little bit. As you can see, it's thickening up. And turn off the heat, and we are done. All you have to do is to make the rice now. And all I want to say now is thank you very much for allowing me to present this recipe to you. You can see it is super fast. It is absolutely super 100% awesome. And I don't even have to taste it because I know it's going to be perfect. So, once again, from Tony and Cooking Around and from Krakow Poland, see you again on my next video. Bye now.